So this is uh, the Sears home that uh, the Borlaugs moved into in 1922. They moved in October of 22. So to take you back, Norm was born in the birthplace farm across the way about three quarters of a mile away from here in 1914. And uh, he, uh, he was the firstborn, but there was Henry and Clara. They were fairly newly married. And then they lived with uh, Nels and Emma, and they're in that picture right over there. Nels and Emma were the grandparents, and then they had his parents, and then him, and then along came Palma, and then Charlotte, and then all of a sudden you have seven people all in the same house. It became too crowded because that house was just a one 15 by 16 room with a little loft area, and then they built on uh, a two bedroom upstairs. And so um, Norm was uh, sent down the road to his cousins and, and aunt and uncles to live uh, while they were building this house. So this Sears home was uh, built uh, and finally done in 1922. It was one of those things that you, back in the days, you didn't go to an architect to have them design a house and how you wanted it built. You would go to a, a catalog. People didn't leave these farm sites very much. They stayed put. The roads were bad. They had horses and wagons. And so they got a Sears catalog, which was those thick catalogs that would come to your, in your mail. And in that one section of it would be houses that you could order. So they ordered a, a, a house through the Sears catalog. It cost about $1,000. It came with the, everything, the shingles, the windows, the doors, the floorings, the siding, everything that went with the house for $1,000. And so it's a simple square structured house. I think it's like 28 by 28, something like that. There's four bedrooms upstairs and then these two big rooms here. We're in the living room, dining room combination. Uh, and so that's, that's, it was a very simple house, but it, it got them by with what they needed. Um, just a couple things about this, and I can point out, I don't know if you want to show this, but uh, this picture over here is Henry and Clara, his parents, on their wedding day. And Clara got married uh, the same day in a double wedding with her uh, sister. And uh, they were both balas like Vicki on our And my great-grandmother was a sister to those two. So one was married to uh, Ellingson and then the other one to Borlaug. So when all the people that live around here, Ellingsons and Natvigs and Valas, they're all related. And you know, over in this corner, that's, this is Emma and Nels. Uh, Nels was a very uh, important part of Norm's life. You know, grandparents seem to have that, uh, that that bond that you always have with your, your grandkids. But Norm would always quote Nels. Nels had great uh, just wisdom. He was a self-read uh, man. He went to that one-room schoolhouse. Henry went to the one-room schoolhouse. I don't know about his uh, uh, mom or not. Emma, I think, went there. You know, so they all were the same. Uh, they, they traveled the same roads. They were in the same buildings. But Nels was always the one that kind of had that wisdom uh, for Norm. Uh, like uh, he went to him as he was getting ready to go to college and he gave him those silver dollars that he had saved up, that Nels' only savings that he had. And he says, Norm boy, here, you take these silver dollars, you pay for your tuition up there. You feed your head now so you can feed your belly later. And that was always something that stuck with, with Norm. But he always quotes little things that Nels told him. and. Uh, you know, Nels and him would go down to the fishing hole and the little turkey river and fish. But, uh, you know, he was a very important part of, of uh, Norm's life. And then he passed away when Norm was in college. Uh, one of his first years he was at college. So everything in here are his period pieces, but uh, the only pieces that are original are the that set that's in the corner here. So... Um, so this is uh, some of the pictures that are here, uh, not real good quality, but this is the only picture we have of young Norman. This is taken from the book uh, that Beatmeyer had. Uh, so we don't know where it came from. That's his cousin. Me. I've got the oh, that's the, okay, you have the original picture. This is his cousin, Vilmer. Uh, that, uh, this is the one that he went to live with, didn't he? No. No. He went to live with Alan. Family, oh, I, I'm not sure. I think so. But this is the only one we have of him as a boy. 
And so as you go outside, you'll see our statues out there. The statue of the young boy, or young Norman feeding chickens, that's, that's based on that picture. This is his uh, relatives, and you'll see the, this uh, similar picture over at the birthplace farm on one of the signs there. But uh, this is Nels and Emma as young parents, and then Henry is the, the tall boy standing here. That's Norm's uh, father. And then this is Sina, his cousin, that was his teacher in seventh and eighth grade. And she's the one that went to Henry and Clara and uh, said Norm needs to go to high school because he's got that, he's got something about him that he'll really succeed. And over here, I don't know if you're, the, the uh, uh, light's too bright, but this is Margaret, his wife. She, uh, this is their wedding day when they got married. And of course, uh, Margaret, is quite a story in herself. She had to, uh, you know, sacrifice, you know, because she had to take care of those kids and take care of all the business when they were down in Mexico and he was working and gone so many hours a day. So she was uh, a person that had to deal with a lot of loneliness too. Here he is uh, wrestling. You know, uh, he went to the state tournament in Iowa. Did not win a state title, but he got second or third from what I understand. But uh, the wrestling lessons that he had, it, uh, he kept, he used those with his scientists down the wheat fields too. All right.